prepare to die. How nice of them to inform you in advance. Grave Breaker from the Maniacs who brought you Vex and Silence. This is on Xbox 360 in their indie games. Indie. It wears tight jeans, it drives a Range Rover, it drinks expensive coffee, but it's against the establishment. The previous game, Vex and Silence, spelled V-E-K-S, I've reviewed that, is a side-scrolling, far-out adventure game packed with some humor, comic book style, and lots of violence. Gravebreakers is a side-scrolling survival game where you face unlimited waves of enemies trying to disembowel you. Gameplay is pretty much the same, and it still retains that rough-around-the-edges feel, that indie style. It only costs about a dollar, so it's not like you're breaking the bank if you want to try Gravebreaker. It gives you three levels to play on, and prepare for some challenge initially as you get used to the controls and how to play the game. It's a pretty entertaining game, and these guys know how to use the rumble feature on the Xbox 360 controller. As far as I know, the controls are identical to what you'll find in Vex and Silence. You have four different weapons to choose from, which you select using the D-pad, a pistol, shotgun, sniper rifle, and minigun. You're scored differently depending on which gun you use. The shotgun is the easiest to destroy enemies with, so you get the lowest amount of points. The sniper rifle is extremely difficult to use and takes a while to reload. You get lots of points for using the sniper rifle. The minigun is practically worthless and the pistol is somewhere in between. I didn't get any footage of it, but when you play two players, you're both on screen at the same time, you're being scored independently. The game is twice as frantic, and it's fun to compete against a friend for points on this one, and you can blow each other up with the bombs. Excellent two-player game. Mediocre single-player game, but, but terrific two-player. Read the instructions before you play, because when you get into these bonus waves, you can't lose any lives. So they're for just racking up insane amounts of points as fast as possible, and then you can easily be wiped out in the standard gameplay. Watch out for those turrets. But when taking out enemies with the sniper rifle, you get so many points that you get a lot of extra lives. If you're playing two-player, it's not as easy to steal every single extra life, so keep that in mind. Then it becomes more competitive. It's a catchy multiplayer game. Unfortunately, you can't play against friends online, but if there's two of you in the same room together, it's Gravebreaker's time, and it's on. Frantic, jumpy, out of control. I think a lot of you will get a kick out of this one. And for less than a premium cup of coffee, you can buy both Gravebreaker and Vex and Silence. And you're fighting against the establishment by being more indie. I like the title, Gravebreaker. That sounds like it should be an Atari 2600 game. You're the red block fighting the blinking white block, representing a ghost. Using the yellow pixel as a trident.